Yes, slow. Cranking out to some nice, good old Aerosmith. Sweet emotions. There's nothing why we're here today. We're here to talk about a... <clears throat> a damn it. A photo. I took while at a house and doing a clean out. God damn. Now I've had this photo in my phone for I don't know how long. I just did the best I could to crop it, get it up to look good. And right now I'm hoping. <laughs> Who knows? If I can get some money for it. And the only reason why I did this is because my father come out with this damn story. About the time we lived in air, or he lived in an air as a kid. And, uh, talking about this house. Excuse me. Uh, that he got to go into... I think he was a young adult or something. He was helping move or something or doing something. Or unless it was abandoned. And what caught my eye or ear on this story. Yeah, it caught my eye. <laughs> a fish hook. My ear on this story was a paintings and murals that a man named Rufus Porter Porter. Yeah, Porter. You look up Rufus Porter, and it'll come up all kinds of imagery on walls, paintings. Supposedly, I don't know. Now, this was in more of a modern house. That's why I'm thinking I would love to have that done is get some money for this, but... <laughs> Due to the fact of being in the modern house. Which I don't know. I, I gotta look up to see how long he. Stayed alive and looked up on him yet. Like on Wikipedia or whatever. See how long he, this man stayed alive. But as you can see. The artwork and detail in this painting. Is just beyond. Awesomeness. Now, <laughs> I went and put, I don't know if it was this one. No, it wasn't this one. But there was a movie. I forgot what movie it was. I took a picture of a landscape from a school in California. I don't know if this had to do anything with Rufus. Maybe a artist that was a copycat, but... I put it up somewhere, like on Say So Instagram or... Ah, shoot. I forgot where I put it up, but someone was asking me what, if this was a real place. And I was like, damn. Oh, and I did another, well, TV picture. It wasn't a real on-the-wall painting, but... You know, the way to... And where I'm going with this... Is that the picture looked so friggin' real. When you got people asking, where the hell is this place or whatever, you know, I forgot where I did that off of, and, it, and it's going to drive me crazy. I won't remember it because or I have to go back, and that was so long ago, for at least four years ago. And just to think of the detail that is put into these murals on walls and stuff, and I mean, the houses could be like you're sitting in the wilderness or something like this. I mean, I looked at this painting at that well, I couldn't stop staring at it. So I'm the type of person that if I had this in my house, oh, hell yeah. I'd be sitting there all day in a chair with friggin' fake campfire or something. <laughs> Roast some marshmallows. 
Get a little flame down there with a lighter. <laughs> Thinking I'm in a camp, right? That's what I'd be doing. i be looking at this all day. I'm out here. These kids drive me nuts. See you later. I'm going to the damn mountains. But it's just how surreal these pictures look. And Rufus used to, you know, like, bored with people. He would travel, I guess. I don't know if he did it on purpose, but, you know, room and board with people, he'd paint their houses and their walls. Well, not the outside, let alone the rooms and, the, you know, he would do this. He was a famous artist for this. So, I don't know, I gotta... I don't know how I would get the authenticity of this picture. Someone I'm sure is out there would know if it was a Rufus, you know, work being done. But, I mean, if it ain't, it ain't. But I'd like to know, because I know the house where this exactly came out of. You know what I mean? Shoot. Even if that person would get some money. Then split it with me or give me some, 20%. Because <laughs> I know about this guy. But. Just the mere fact to know that someone. They used to do this for a living. And now his artwork is like hundreds of thousands of dollars. So. I mean, if anybody comes across the house with a mural in it, painting off the wall. Just remember, Rufus Porter. Ah, dang it, ain't nobody in line today. I do a video and there's no one in line. Excuse me, I'll be back. Anyways, back. So if anybody, like I said, finds a Porter or Portro or a mural on the wall, make sure you get it investigated. You buy a house, you live in an apartment. <laughs> well, not an apartment, but any type of house with that kind of mural on it. Oh, hell yeah, you gotta think of Rufus Porter. But I don't know, I think of more done in more old houses, let alone new houses. I don't know how long that guy lived up till. It, I think maybe the 60s, I want to say, I gotta go back in and look anyways, but it would be nice though to get something like this excuse me and uh have some money put in your damn hands <laughs> but just, just to be let known if you're ever in a house and you notice this painting work any type of painting work of landscaping Make sure you get something out of it. That's right. Due to your knowledge, Rufus Porter, an artwork on the wall. My father found one in that house I spoke of. And uh, he knew a guy, literally, that would go around and appraise and check that stuff. <laughs> this guy didn't even, even go search the house. He didn't even believe my father. But yet there's paintings that my father had seen, you know, through the work of other stuff, and it looked identical, he said. And I'm sure my father ain't lying about that, because he, too, my father, he is an, he, he could be an antique appra uh, appraisal, appraisalist. He can appraise antiques and stuff like that, so. And paintings like this, I'm, I gotta show him this one, but. <clears throat> but yeah, he knows a lot about, you know, the past, history, antiques, and paintings. Especially Rufus. But thought I'd like to share that. Anywhere you go, you see this, you gotta remember the name. Look them up, check them out. Till that next video, be safe. Take care. Out.